Braves basketball from Carter Arena in downtown Peoria as the uh, Bears of Missouri State come back on the floor. The Braves uh, warming up to our right. And the Bears of Missouri State with a record of 10-3, 1-1 in the Missouri Valley Conference, take on Jim Les's Braves 9-4 and and 1-1 one and one in Missouri Valley Conference play. This is Dave Snell along with Joe Stoll. Jim Watson set to bring you the play-by-play of the Braves and the Bears here tonight. It's the 36th meeting between the two, formerly SMS, of course. The Bears are the only Missouri Valley Conference team with a winning record against Bradley, 22-13. and 13. Bradley's won three in a row over the Bears here at Carver Arena, but they're just nine and seven overall against Missouri State here. Braves are looking for their 16th in a row at home, which would be the longest for Jim Lass as head coach, and third longest overall. Since the beginning of last year, they're 21 and one, the only loss coming to Wichita about a year ago. Braves are now 265 and 82 at Carver Arena in the 25th season of play here. The Bears are coming off a uh, hard-to-comprehend 77-74 loss at Creighton on Saturday afternoon. They blew an 11-point lead with a little over four to play. They beat Indiana State at home for their Valley win. Their losses are to Arkansas in overtime in South Padre Island Tournament, where Bradley goes next year. St. Louis on a controversial one-point loss. They actually won it, but the replay wasn't conclusive. And then to the Blue Jays. Coach, it's a tough game. I wouldn't be surprised to play five extra minutes tonight. Well, it, it, it figures to be that kind of day of a game, Dave. They are strong. They're physical. Uh, they've got some depth, and uh, you know, they're not really weak at any position. They can hurt you inside. They certainly can hurt you outside. They're uh, about a 70 percent, I think, team from the free throw line. You know about Blake Ahern. He's shooting 91 percent, Dave. That's got him down career-wise to about 95. So uh, yeah. he, he's one of the he's one of the best all-time free throw shooters in the country. Well, he has led the NCAA for three consecutive years in free throws. He's trying to make it the grand slam, but Jeremy Crouch is ahead of him yeah, right, right now. But Jeremy won't be playing for a few games, as you know, and he's on his crutches and he's uh, out with the team, ready for a national anthem, which will come your way very shortly on WMBD Peoria, Illinois. We welcome 12-year-old Nigel Smucker of Groveland and his dad, Jeff, to our broadcast booth tonight. He is the junior sportscaster of the game. Tonight's officials brought to you by the Gailey Eye Clinic, superior eye care and the best eyesight with experience you can count on, the Gailey Eye Clinic in Peoria and Bloomington. The referee is Curtis Shaw. The umpires are Jerry Pollard and Don Daly. In a moment of silence here for uh, the late President Gerald Ford, who was uh, at funeral services over the weekend and today, and to Buzz Ott, who passed away, and we'll talk more about uh, Buzz as time goes on. So a moment of silence for that. For Barry Henson's Bears and Jim Les's Braves, our national anthem. Our anthem, the uh, teams will shake hands. What a job Barry Henson did at the luncheon today. Eighth season, 140 and 93 overall, 10 years. He was at Earl Roberts before, 167 and 
116 with Steve Woodbury, Ben Miller, and Ryan Brown. Jim Les, his fifth year, 72-64 with Chuck and Eric Bisher, Lennox Forrester, and Kyle Boat, the assistant coaches, the strength coaches, Ronnie Wright, the managers, Joe Fulton, Mike Peplo, Gabe Seacrest, Mike Yeoman, and J.C. Wondolowski. And now our Heritage Bank starting lineup. Here's Paul Herzog. Averaging 9.8 points and four boards a game. Five and a half points, five and a half rebounds. 16 out of 48 for the free throw line, Dave. That's not good. He averages 9.6 and 4.3 rebounds. One of the league's very best. By the way, uh, Lowry's uh, assist to turnover is 64 up and 24 down. It doesn't get much better than that. This is the only game in the Missouri Valley Conference tonight. Tomorrow night. What's up, Bradley fans? This is Jason Fawlton, and it's game time. So stand up, get loud, and show the Braves to a big victory tonight. Go Braves. Illinois. AP gives it Deion Jackson. In and out of his hands. He shoots at the horn. Good! 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 It fires a 35-footer. Good! It's good! <laughs> BMI in the nation, and they're first in percentage. shouldn't have to St. Louis. They lost another game they shouldn't have on Saturday because they blew an 11-point lead. And we'll see what happens here tonight. Well, Dave, they went up and won at Wisconsin. And you went at Wisconsin on the road. That's, That's South Padre, Coach. But uh, That was in a tournament. But they beat Wisconsin. Well, they sure did.
Are we on? Or are we? Oh, we are back on. All right. Ah, the old Comrex gremlin jump. The Braves, uh, if you're uh, listening on the internet, will go opposite as we look at it the first half. Bradley moves from left to right, right to left if you're watching at home. 163s, 20 dunks, and 10 wins for Bradley on this season. Going for number 11 tonight, and then we go to Wichita. And you know what that's going to be like. They've lost four in a row. They're going to be angry. They're going to be mad. They're going to be loud. They're going to be sold out. It'll be Drew Richards to jump against Zach Andrews. Jerry Pollard will toss. The Braves and the Bears tip it off, and it's back tip to the Braves, and Danny Adams gives to Ruffin. And he works against Spencer Lowry. Give it to Franklin. Now to Twy, lob to the basket, up, down, come on! Real nice execution on that, Dave, and that had to come off the bench right off the start. Pull that zero off and pull that, put that one on there. 2 nothing Braves on a slam dunk. And that was right out of the huddle. Full court press by Bradley. 2-0 is the Bradley lead over Missouri State. 1940 to play here in the first half. With it is Lowry. He wears number 10. Now Nathan Ballou gives Lowry. His brother's on the team. They're both from Springfield. One played at Mizzou. Look for the drop-down pass. Passing lanes are cut down. Give Nathan Ballou and twice on him. He got a poke check away. 2-0 Braves at 1920 to the baseline is Ballou and he throws it to Jim Les out of bounds well, good First defense turnover of the game or set by uh, twice forced him on the baseline day made him throw it out of bounds first turnover of the game comes at 1919 the Braves have a dunk and it caused turnover that's a pretty good start roughing with it across the timeline you'll be my official three ball and kaboom people with it inside is Zach Andrews he turned around and short shot dribbles in he's two of two from the field He's got four, so do the Braves. We played a minute. Lowry with it across the timeline against Ruffin. Has it high left. Beats Ruff a half a step. Comes all the way down to the baseline, and Ruff fouled him. Well, he beat him and trailed him and then hopped on his back. Yeah, not a real good play by Daniel. It's something you don't see Daniel do very often. He got beat on the drive and then left his feet and definitely fouled. First foul of the game. It'll be inbound left. Lowry, his ball's tipped out of bounds. Last touch by J.J. Twy as he tried to hit Nathan Ballou. Ballou, by the way, and Sam Singh were teammates at Ozark, Missouri. That's a pretty good team. Kickapoo, by the way, had Tolliver and a couple of guys from this team. Devin Mitchell being one of them. A ball screen up top by Richards. Laurie gets in the lane, pull up 14-footer, makes it a 4-2 score. Good at ball screen and got the shot. Will Franklin touches it the first time in the offense. Ball fake, no shot. Hand off from Andrews up top. Now it's Danny Adams, a ball screen instead. It's a layup. Nope, inside is Zach Andrews. Short shot, dribbles no good. No rebounds, of course. He was out and tried to make the shot. Missed about, oh, a 6'7 footer. Long, 18 20 for the first half, 4 2 the Bradley lead. Laurie get a ball screen from Richards on a pick and roll. Inside a post pass, knocked away by Twy a minute to Nathan Ballou. Goes inside, for forces it, missed it. Rebound taken down is Zach Andrews. Gives to Ruffin, braids on the scoot across the timeline. Minute 55 in. Here's DA's three right. That's good. That's just what Danny needs to start. And the three ball goes. And the Braves lead at 7 to 2. Ballou cuts a loose ball on the baseline on the left. A pull up jumper by Ahern. Dribbles no good. Weak side rebound and takedown by Ruffin. He's across the timeline in a second and a half. DA another three. Looks good. Is bouncing no good. And then goes down. Nope. It hit the hit, top hit of the, the board clock, I believe, Dave. and hit the shot clock and uh, bounced off. How about that for calling a shot? <laughs> off shot clock, good for three, but it didn't count. I was ready to slap that two up because we're out of ones here. Seven to two, the Bradley lead, playing two and a half. With it is Ahern, who missed the first shot. He's got it in the wing and the right. Post pass through Richard, going to need some help. Hooks in the lane, short shot is blocked by uh, Andrews, picked up by Drew Richards. And a whistle and a travel, turnover number two for the Bears at 17-18, and the Bradley lead is seven to two. So it's Ruff and a Twy in the backcourt. J.J. will inbound to Ruff. And will attack again, trying to increase the five-point lead. So off to a good start here tonight. And Ruffin with a right-hand dribble against Spencer Lowry. 
Will Franklin get a ball screen from Andrews on a pick and roll. It's a moving screen. They called it on Zach Coleman at Northern Iowa. That's what he does all the time. I think it's reputation. And here comes Matt Sally in at 17.08 to replace Zach Andrews, who just picked up that first foul. So he's got a foul and four points. And there was no doubt he was moving. I mean, that was it was the right call. When he execute that well, he generally gets the layup off of it. Spencer Laurie in the backcourt. We played three minutes. Going to look at a ball screen by Richards. Instead, he goes into the lane. Pull-up jumper is bouncing no good. Rebound is taken down. Nathan Ballou put back missed. Rebound taken down. Dave J.J. Twy whips it out to Franklin on the right. Stutter step dribble behind the back. Now go to the baseline all the way down. Inside out. Rough. Three ball left. That's good. Oh, and some fine ball handling on that. Uh, certainly by Will Franklin. The other end, Will makes the steal. Takes it away from Drew Richards. Three on three break. Stutter step dribble inside out. Rough for three. Wing right. Bounce it no good. Rebound taken down by uh, Tyler Cheney. He touches it for the first time. Comes all the way down to the baseline. Good help. And good defense by Danny Adams. Hit Spencer Lawry back pass to Ahern. Layup is good. And Andrew Warren will come in on the next dead ball. His first two, 10 to 4. Bradley's lead is 6. Franklin with it on the right. Now Twy. Danny Adams with it. Get a ball screen from Sally. Looks and a skip pass is to Franklin. Drives baseline. Stops inside Sally. Looked like he was fouled and was. The out inside official didn't make a call. The outside official did. Warren will come in. Foul is on Nathan Ballou, his first. He has a tendency to get in foul trouble. And Matt Sally to the line. Bradley is a team from the free throw line. A 71%. And they've had a long way to get there. And part of the reason is because Sally's been better. He has two here. He's 23 of 38. And bounce that one off no good. Andrew Warren in. Replaces Danny Adams. 16-03 to play first half. And Devin Mitchell will come in. For the Bears, uh, he is a 6'5 junior, 205-pounder from Kickapoo. He played with Tolliver in high school. I mean, they they had quite a team. I think they were 31-1. and one. Free throw two is in. So splitting him was uh, Matt Sally. He's got one, and the Bradley lead is seven at 11-4. Spencer Laurie with it. He played at Missouri, sat out of transfer year last year. His three ball is in. From straight away, got it, shot it, put it down. Cuts the Bradley lead to four at 11 to seven. He has five of the seven points. Ball screen, Sally on a pick and roll. Ruffin floats it in the lane, good! <laughs> Little floater about a 10 footer, Ruff has five, 13-7. Lowry quickly at the other end, woo, Ruff almost got a steal. Spencer Lowry takes it to the uh, wing on the right, looks up, ooh, dangerous pass on a high low. Devin Mitchell backs in against Twy. Tough shot, dribbles in. That was a tough turnaround jumper. And Mitchell gets it. It's 13 to 9. We'll have an official time and a next dead ball. Rough between the rings now. Sally Andrew Warren. He's from Indianapolis. Give to JJ Twy a ball screen and a pick and roll. Give it to Warren. Now it's Ruffin. Takes it into the teeth of the zone. Or the uh, man to man. Or are they in a zone? Let me see. Are they in a two? Nope. This is oh, a man to man. Good lead pass inside. Will Franklin finds Sally for the goal. He has 3 15 9. Cheney with it at the other end. Even Mitchell on the right wing. Got to try to deny the ball to Ahern. He's got it looping in the lane. Stops. Takes it to the baseline right. Stops. Give it to Cheney. Three ball is blocked by Andrew Warren. Gets it back Ahern. There's a three. That's up. Misses. Weak side rebound is Stephen Mitchell inside. And the foul is called on J.J. Twy. And Richards will go to the line. So the Bears go to the boards that time. And they'll have two free throws when we come back in a minute. 14-42 first half. Bradley 15. Missouri State 9. And two free throws as Zach Andrews will come back for the Braves. When we come back, you're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball on 1470 WMBD.
Andrew Warren just got his fifth block of the season, 15-9, with two in the hopper coming up here for Missouri State. Bradley Braves basketball. We haven't given our keys to the game yet. We better do that before uh, we get accused of cheating. Bradley Braves basketball brought to you by Illinois American Water. Proud to provide you with quality water service. And by the financial country financial agents of the game. The country insurance and financial agents tonight are Marv Parr and Pekin. And Steve Davis of Elmwood. Ahern and Mitchell, less than 25. Out shoot them from the field. The Braves are 7-0 and when they shoot it better than the opposition. And right now it's 67 Bradley, 36 Bears early. And better than uh, 40% from three-point range for the Braves. Beat the Bears on the boards. They're down 7-3 to at this point. Cheney and Mitchell less than 15. And keep them less than a dozen free throws made. They're going to the line tonight. Magic number. Coach, I had a little high. Did you? I thought about Red Granger's number. About 77. I have 75. We're always pretty close. Fairly close. Looking down there, you think Danny Adams is not up? He's been sweating like a hog down there. Ruffin's been playing the entire time, and it looked like Daniel hasn't broke a sweat. So Daniel's up. Danny's up for this game. I think both Danny and Daniel are up for this game. Sally playing with uh, Zach Andrews and Twy and uh, Warren with the point now, operated by Will Franklin. Kyle Roush is going to come in. Free throw is good by Drew Richards, and Coach 16, mentioned before, he, he, terrible. 16 of 40. Eight going into that make. He's 17 of 49, so get ready to board here. And that's the okay. way it usually works. He makes them both. Kyle Roush, he only plays 10 minutes a game, 2.62 rebounds. He comes in for Richards. Full guard press now, 1 2 2, Dave. 15 11 is the Bradley lead. Will Franklin is in the backcourt. Give to Sally. Back to Will, still in the backcourt. Now JJ Twy. The pressure causes no problems. And they're in a 2 3 zone. The, right, 2 3 to start. J.J. Twy gives to Franklin. Now it's Twy on the right. High post pass, drop down pass. Nice high low look. Sally to Zach Andrews who has six. Real good job. 17-11, the Bradley lead is 6-14-17 to play first half. With it is, they have both Lorries in the game. Shane Lorry, uh, Spencer Lorry, and Peter Lorry is not on the floor. They also have uh, Dale Lambreth in. Ball knocked away from Spencer Lorry. A minute, and he's got it out near the timeline, almost walked into backcourt. Six minutes gone. Spencer pull-up jumper from 17 is good. He's got a nice shot, doesn't he not? He does. He's got he's seven. Got seven of their 13. 17, 13. Twy with it, free throw line extended quickly at the other end. The Bradley lead is four with the ball. they back man to man. So it's just one trip. Warren, Danny Adams will come back in the next dead ball. With it, a skip pass is Andrew, takes it to the baseline and stops left. Now it's Franklin from J.J. Twy. A jab, step, no shot. Ball fake. 13-12 on the shot clock. J.J. Twy inside out. Gives to Sally. Now to Warren. Drives inside. Shot is good. Lean in, six-footer. A dub makes his first deuce. It's 19-13. The lead is six again. Adams and Cheney will come in in the next dead ball. Mitchell with it. Now it's Shane Laurie. He wears number 10. Roush at the high post. Get pass. Knocked away. Right to Frank Bassoni. And out of bounds with 22 on the shot clock, 13.09 to play in the half. Spencer Laurie is out. Drew Richards is in. Tyler Cheney is in. They can keep Blake Ahern on the bench the rest of the half, Dave. You want to see some guys from Texas. Where do you see this Wichita roster? It's like, who do they not have that's from Texas? And they're all pretty good. That's a football state, but they got all the basketball players. Tyler Cheney, that's the next game on Thursday night. Tyler Cheney beats Andrew Warren a half a step. Dale Lambreth gives up in front. Spencer Laurie in the lane. Lean in 10-footer. Hits an air ball that time. Taken down by Andrew Warren. Six-point lead in the ball. And Warren across the timeline. Comes behind the back. Get a ball screen. Gives to Adams. D.A. pull up 17-footer. That's an air ball. Partially blocked. Taken down by Lambreth. Now it's Shane Laurie across the timeline. Look at a, a lob pass inside Devin Mitchell. Good feed inside Richards. Layup good and foul really well. by Zach. We had a defense on the low post that time. He made a nice pass to get the guy coming down the lane. 19-15. Sally picks up the foul. His first. Nathan Ballou comes back for the Bears. And it'll be Richards who already is two for two from the line. Bradley eight of 12 from the field. Six of 14 for the Bears with Lowry making the uh, three-point shot. So here's Drew Richards, and he has scored early here. He has four, tries for five. 
I'll be darned, Coach. He, he made it again. Yes, he did. 19-16, 48% free throw, and he's three for three. The Bradley lead is three. 12-27 for the first half. With it is Ruffin. Free throw line extended on the right. Now it's Sally. Looks left, gives it to Danny Adams. Get a ball screen. Now it's Ruffin. Cuts the corner. Inside pass is to uh, Andrews. A bad shot missed. Tough shot that time. Off balance, and the rebound taken down by the Bears. And they're running across the timeline down three. Lambert, the ball fake, no shot. Lob inside is Drew Richards as he turns around and hooks it up and in against Zach Andrews. We'll have an official time and an extended ball. He didn't have any help that time. Richards has seven. The Bradley lead is one, 19-18. 11.50 to play in the half. With it is Warren. Get a ball screen from Sally. Return pass back to him. Look inside, and he fires up a shot for three. Bounce it, no good. And the rebound taken down to the Bears shoot for the lead here, 19-18. And look at a skip pass, look inside at a post pass. The count was on. And timeout called by the Bears as they were in danger of getting a five count. Jerry Pollard gave the, the uh, timeout signal. They wanted to get Blake Ahern back into the game, and you're right, Dave. That was awful close to five, five second count. 11.34 to play. We'll have an official time on the next dead ball. Bradley Braves basketball brought to you by... River Valley Trailer Sales. River Valley Trailer Sales across from the Pekin Bridge at routes 9 and 24. For all you need in flatbed, cargo, equipment, and motorcycle trailers. River Valley Trailer Sales. And the Braves brought to you by Avani's. If you have a son or daughter between 8 and 12, register them to be an honorary ball boy or ball girl at any of the three Avani's locations. Winners will be notified and announced prior to each home game. 1918, Bears have the ball. Braves have been on 19 a bit. It's sure too bad the Crouch can't play tonight. But you know, that's the one time that the quality minutes that uh, Danny Adams and Warren have got up until now, so, you know, it's bound to help them out here too, Dave. Nathan Ballou hands to Ahern, who gets back in the game. It's uh, Cheney, Ahern, Ballou, Lambreth, and Richards, who's played well here early in the game. There's a back cut that's thrown away and lost off the hands as Ballou tried a, a high-low out of the huddle. Right idea, poor execution, four turnovers for the Bears at 11:22. The Braves have a 19-18 lead. When we come back in a minute, you're listening to Bradley Braves basketball on 1470 WMBD. Good, Rebounds 10 to 4. Yeah, they missed more shots. And four offensive, Dave. Yeah, those assists 5 to 1 look pretty good, though. Okay, so now Joe Stone, Jim Watson back at Carver Arena. And we welcome uh, Nigel Smucker from Morton Junior High School. He's 12 and a half in seventh grade. Jeff's his dad. He's in the uh, band in the pep band. Stephanie's his mom. He has a nine-year-old sister, Hannah. Future aspirations, Bradley University or the University of Illinois. Let's just scratch out that one. Let's go, let's go red. And he wants to go either into sports or be a scientist, Coach. Well, we can always use some more scientists. Well, we can Plenty of people in sports. Find a cure for some major disease, and we'll be just fine. And it's great to have him here. You could be a junior sportscaster. Sign up at any of the Morton Community Bank locations. Inviting you to sign up. 15 area locations, the Morton Community Bank. 1918 is the Bradley lead. They've led all the way. Biggest lead was uh, seven, I think. Nobody in foul trouble, Dave, on either team thus far. Only one on uh, 
Missouri State, four on the Braves. Not many fouls call. They let him play pretty much. Ruffin with it between the rings. Tyler Cheney's on him. He has a size advantage. Will Franklin drives in the lane. Inside out for a DA3. Bounce it no good. And a rebound taken down by Drew Richards. And here comes the Bears trying to take the lead again. Lob pass inside Cheney. Goes in and hooks an offensive foul as he fouls on a hook. Down on the block on the left. Second foul on Nathan Ballou. So that's a turnover. And they're fifth. Spencer Laurie comes in for Ballou. So uh, Barry Henson goes small here. At 19-18 the score. And 10-59 to play in the half. Bradley a one-point lead. And here comes Ruffin. The Braves are two of six from three. DA's had a couple open looks. Made one, missed one. With it is Ruffin. Look at a post pass going down in the lane is Drew Richards. They're in a 2-3. Nope, they're still in the man. Still in the man. Sinking the weak side. With really? it is Adams. Give it to Ruffin. Really Jab step. Shot. No shot. Now give Will Franklin straight away. His pull-up jumper for three. That's good. Got it. Shot it. Put it in. Will gets his first three points of the night. And the Braves have three. Inside out. Ball fake and a jab step by Richards, here's a ball knocked away. Devin Mitchell on a again. intentional, or a lob pass inside. Six turnover. Here's Zach Andrews, almost walked, didn't. Twy, rough, now works against Tyler Cheney. we got another banner coming down over here. Here's Adams. Now it's Ruffin. Almost halfway through the first half. Bradley's lead is four. Ruff going to drive the lane. Inside out, Will Franklin. Jab step with 14. Halfway through the first half. Franklin with it in the lane, and he's fouled going in. At 9.58, reload the shot clock from 12 to 35. Before the shot, foul is on Spencer Laurie, his first, and the third team foul. So it'll be inbounded for Ruffin against the 2-3 zone. Baseline left. Ball is tipped to Franklin in the corner on the right. Now Adams, left is rough. He's open, 4-3, bounce it no good. Rebound taken down by Drew Richards. Bradley's four-point lead, plan D here. With it, Spencer Laurie on the left. Richard steps out. Look for the high-low entry pass to Mitchell. That's not made. Give it to Tyler Cheney. He can shoot the three. Lean-in shot is dribbling no good. Followed up and in by Richards. He has nine. And it's a 22-20 game. With it is Ruffin. Free throw line extended to the right. Now drives baseline. Beats Devin Mitchell. Inside pass. He stepped out of bounds. Ruffin got too deep and stepped on the baseline right. Second Bradley turnover. Sally in. And Adams out. Dale Lambreth is in for the Bears. And he replaces Tyler Cheney. It was thrown down on the dunk. But uh, there was a step on the baseline first. So once again, as Ahern has it, two-point deficit for the Bears. Ahern, Richards, they sag way off on him. Spencer Laurie, three-point Shot for the lead is good by Dale Lambert. And Missouri State has their first lead, 23-22. Franklin looks inside at Sally, gives to Andrews. Ball screen once, twice for J.J. Twy, who takes it all the way down, forces it up and got it in. Probably was fouled in the play. Was, Gets his first deuce, 24-23. Bradley's lead is one. Can't believe J.J.'s not going to line for a three-point play. Spencer with it. Lambert, who put him ahead. Looks down at a post pass. Count, 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 count. Give it to Devin Mitchell against J.J. Twy. Pull up jumper. Short. Rebound taken down. J.J. In traffic. Looks for the guard. Gives to Ruff across the timeline. One point lead of the ball. Between the legs. Now he's going to drive in the lane all the way down. Flip it up and off the glass and good. Ruff has seven. The Bradley lead is three. 26-23. Behind the back is Spencer Lowry and Andrew Warren will come in in the next dead ball. Give to Richards. Now Lambert. Now on the left, Spencer Laurie. Devin Mitchell down on the post is Richards. Ball uh, on a Best. give and go. Nicely done. Devin Mitchell breaks with a goal and scores. 26 25. Richards has four points. Or Mitchell, rather, has four. That was from Richards. With it is number four. That is uh, Franklin. His shot for three is no good. And on the back for the rebound, I think, is Drew Richards. And we'll have an official time as he fouled. Zach Andrews, Sam Singh will come in for the first time. Andrew Warren comes back. Bradley's lead is 26-25 with 7.45 to play in the half and the Braves a new shot clock when we come back. ID time. You're listening to Bradley Braves basketball on WMBD, Peoria, Illinois. 
It's the Little Braves race. I guess we can't do that, Dave. Dave Snell, Joe Stone, Jim Watson. The Braves are being out-rebounded 13-6 thus far. The Braves are brought to you by your Greater Peoria Airport. We'll be flying out of the regional airport tomorrow. Fly nonstop from Peoria to Tampa or St. Petersburg on Elysian Air. You always park free at the Greater Peoria Airport when you fly to over 250 destinations worldwide. Check out www.flypia.com or see your travel agent. And the Braves are brought to you by the Heritage Bank of Central Illinois. Proud to support Bradley basketball and the communities they serve. Heritage Bank pros gladly give of their time and talent to many local organizations. And proud to be a sponsor of the Braves, who are 11 of 20, 55% from the field. 10 of 20 for the Bears, 50%. They're 2 of 4 from 3 and 3 of 3 from the line. All from Drew Richards, who has 9 points. The Braves are 1 of 2 from Sally. At the line, they're 3 of 9 from 3-point range. And it's a one-point lead and a new shot clock. And they'll inbound baseline right with Singh in the first time. Sam 6'9", 266 from Ozark, Missouri, averaging a point a game in seven minutes per game. And Andrews is out. So it's a Singh, Sally. J.J. Twy, who inbounds and slaps. Will Franklin and Andrew Warren, who gets the inbounds pass against the 2-3 zone. Warren gives to Twy, puts it on the floor and gives to Will Franklin. Now it's Warren. Look inside at a post pass. Sally inside out, Will Franklin. Penetrate and kick. J.J. Twy get a man in the air, goes around one. Now Warren got a man off his feet, pull up 17-footer, is in and out. And a rebound and a foul on Sam C. Had a good shot that time, just didn't get down. Made a nice fake and got himself a clear shot and just didn't bring it home. First on Sam, 15 foul. So, uh... Missouri State shoots for the lead here. They have Spencer Laurie and Devin Mitchell, Tyler Cheney, Kyle Rush, and Dale Lambert. Really their second team in there. Ahern's on the bench again. 7-14 to play in the half. Here's a ball almost stolen away by Will Franklin. Instead, it's a pull-up jumper for Laurie. Is in and out. Rebound taken down Sally. Kick it out now, Will Franklin. On the move has J.J. Twy on the left. Will gives it to him. Look to get a ball screen. And now it brings it up high left. A pull-up jumper for three, J.J. Bounce it away, no good. And the rebound taken down by Spencer Lowry. And J.J. Prob or, uh, Singh probably fouled on the rebound. So once again, the Bears shoot for the lead. Jab, step, and no shot. Now Tyler Cheney against the freshman. Looks downstairs in a switch. J.J. Twy makes him give it up. Devin Mitchell out front. Give to Spencer Lowry. 16-15 on the shot clock. Backs up near the timeline. The Braves with a one-point lead. Play in D. Six and a half to play first. Ball screen coming, not used. Seven, six on the shot clock, and a foul. Too bad. That's too bad. He tried to split two people, didn't really have anywhere to go, Dave, and he got bailed out on the call. And the foul was on Sam Singh, his second. That's 16 fouls on the Braves. And a new shot clock. Devin Mitchell, the inbounds pass, and gives it to Spencer Lowry. And he's in the backcourt. Bradley's lead is a point. They trailed one time before by a point. Lowry with it, coming out to help us sing. Now Mitchell look for the high-low. Lamberth, fake the pass. Skip is to Tyler Cheney. Pass inside to even Mitchell. Turnaround jumper blocked by J.J. Twy. Kick it out Andrew Warren. On the move, don't charge. Has it knocked away, gets it back. Is it downstairs, Sally. Inside out, Will Franklin. Three ball up and missed. Rebound, Sally. And a hold. An intentional foul. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, what's the, what's the call? I think the Braves are going to get two free throws. Got intentional foul, I think, is a call, Dave. Intentional foul is called on Dale Lambreth. For what? It'll be free throw time. Who's going to go to the line for the Braves? Ruff or Franklin? Probably Ruff. Looks like he's going to foul Sally. They fouled Sally, so the Braves are going to have a chance here for a bunch, leading 26-25. Sally to the line. Nobody else is there. He's one of two. And then I'm guessing Ruff will go to the line for two now that uh, Jeremy Crouch is on crutches. Sally's first free throw is pushed in. There's one. I don't know what in the world they called. Because it was away from play, and the foul was on Sally on the rebound, I guess. Second one short. So he goes one of two. Oh, they called it. And so now the Braves will just get the ball inbounds. Right, they called the intentional foul. 5.54 to play, and so the Braves will look at a 2-3 zone with Ruffin to inbound with a two-point lead, 27-25. As Ruffin is back in for Will Franklin and gets it from Twy. J.J. got a nice block at the other end. Ruffin with it left, 2-3 zone. Here's Warren, now Sally, inside Singh. Good ball movement on the half court, and a three is Andrew Warren, in and out. Rebound is taken down by Mitchell. Zach Andrews will come in in the next dead ball, and a whistle away from the play, and a foul is going to be called, and a one and bonus. Foul is on Andrew Warren. It's coming down on the fly. Nice job of passing that time by Missouri State, and they foul to save the layup. Singh is out, Andrews is in. And Tyler Cheney to the free throw line. He is 16 of 24, 67% hasn't scored. The Bears are 3 of 3. They've all been uh, Drew Richards. So he can tie it with both. First one is good. 27-26. This looks to be close all the way. The Bears are actually a slight favorite in this game. They got somebody coming in, Coach, that uh, we're going to have to check. Second free throw, Cheney. That's good. Ties the game. Manswell, Dave. Dex, Dex, Dex Manswell. Manswell. And played very much. And he comes into the game. He wears number 11 and takes and a spot in the 2-3 zone. zone. Even at 27, 5-23 to play in the half. Rays only have three threes in this first half. With it is Ruffin. Takes it to the left wing. Now it's Andrew Warren, looks right, up the top of the key, drop down pass, inside layup is good! High-low again from Sally to Warren, pass. to uh, nice Andrews, 29-27, he's, he's got eight. Tyler Cheney, look at a lob inside, give it to Mitchell. He stepped out of bounds, but he was pushed out of bounds by J.J. Twy. Two on J.J. So he has two. And it'll be free throw time and a chance to tie it again for the Bears. You know, I almost hate to say it, but uh, Blake Ahern has not been a factor that much in this yeah, first and the half. And big reason, Dave, we've done a real good job defense with him. Danny Adams will come in. I've got a feeling the DA is going to hit a three when he comes back in. Mitchell's free throw is good. 29-28, 5 of 5 from the line for the Bears. 29-28. Steven Mitchell, he's a good player. Wears number five, and he has five points. Plays 19 minutes a game, averages 10.3. Off the bench, Jim. That's pretty good. Second free throw is good. 29-29. Just under five minutes to play in the half. Ruffin with it. The Braves are now 12 of 25, 48% for the game. Ruffin. Staying in the zone. Adams. Back to D.A. Inside pass to Sally. Lean in shot from six. Misses. And Mitchell, Mitchell loses it out of bounds. There's a break as he lost the handle. Seventh turnover for the Bears. Sally is out. Will Franklin is in. Gives another shooter. He stays in the zone. Franklin in. Braves have only turned it over twice here in the first half. Danny Adams gives to Ruffin. Gets the 2-3. Look at a skip pass. Adams looks at uh, Andrews posting inside. Will Franklin now on the left wing. Roughing up high, 23 feet away, takes a dribble, takes a penetration, inside out, three ball, Warren is up, and good! Andrew Warren hits the three ball, he's got five, 32-29, and the threes fly at Carver Arena. 
Fourth three of the night. Ahern with it. Lambreth out front. Looks for the drop down pass. Looks, looks, looks. There's Ahern. Look out. Don't foul him. He's in the lane. Pushed it up and in. He gets his first deuce, or his uh, second field goal. He's got four. The other end is rough. Quickly, four minutes to go. Have an official time to next set ball. Braves lead by a point. Andrew Warren in the lane. Hangs players two. He's got seven, and he's warming up. 34 31, 350 to play in the first half. With a Tyler Cheney. Lambreth. He had a three ball earlier in a switch and a pick and roll. They don't see Mitchell in time. There's Ahern short, dribbles, dribbles, crotched it. It's a held ball. It'll go to Missouri State when we come back. So the Braves will get the next one. 34 31 as Ahern put the ball in the flange and it got stuck. And so that'll turn the possession arrow. Bradley 31, Missouri, or 34, Missouri State 31. 3.39 to play in the half. Back in a minute, you're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball on 1470 WMBD. Well, Andrew's stepped up, hasn't he? Yeah, he really has. Well, we got 10 points out of uh, Adams and Warren. He won't replace Crouch, but it's nice to get nice to be getting yeah. something here. Dave Snell, Joe Stoll, Jim Watson at Carver Arena. And our junior sportscaster tonight is uh, Nigel Smucker of uh, Groveland. Nice to have him with us. Bradley Brace basketball brought to you by Methodist Medical Center, one of America's top 100 cardiovascular hospitals, where they're centered on you and a proud sponsor of Bradley basketball. And by the Peoria Banking Center. Check out the completely free checking accounts at the Peoria Banking Center and the Candle Tree Center, North University Peoria. Also the sponsor for Braves Plus with Dan DiOrio right here before every Bradley basketball game. Well, Mike Sable not here tonight. You're either sick or well. I got a feeling Mike must not be feeling very good. Well, he wasn't, Coach. I saw him earlier today, and he handed a recorder to me and zoomed off. That flu's been going around a little bit. So if you're home or wherever you are in central Illinois or on the Internet, We've got alums and Bradley fans all over the world. I wonder if uh, Rich Lavin is overseas. Here's Ahern inbound uh, baseline on the left. Gives it to Tyler screen. Cheney behind the back. Get a man in the air off his feet. Fouls uh, on Warren as actually, he jumped at the uh, shot. Good play by Cheney. Didn't have much of a shot, but he did draw the foul. The one thing they are doing to Bears coach, getting to the free throw line, they're 7 of 7, and the rebound's... They've got the Braves doubled at 18-9. to nine. But the big reason for that, uh, they're not shooting the ball very good. So Tyler Cheney to the line. They're 7-7. Seven seven. Haven't missed all night. Free throw one is good. 34-32. Sally will come back for Bradley. Replaces uh, Andrew Warren. Is to not get a third foul. So he takes the one spot left. Zach Andrews the one spot right. They're in the double bonus now. Bradley, five team fouls on uh, Missouri State. Second one is up, and that's good. They're making them all. Eight of eight. And they're nine back. of nine now. Ruffin with it. Give to Will Franklin. Now 34 they 30. pressure and then fell back in their zone, Gabe. 34 33. The Bradley lead is one. Ruffin, Franklin. Give it to Ruff. He's got it on the right. Look at a skip pass. Inside out. Franklin, Adams. Back to Will Franklin up front. Takes a couple dribbles, 15 on the shot clock. Ruff goes to the corner on the left, gets into the wing there. Inside out, a three ball is missed by Franklin, and the rebound is all Bears, and they shoot for the lead. With it, Tyler Cheney across the timeline, brings it to the right wing. Ruffin cuts down the passing lane initially. Now Ahern, and Franklin's on him. Jumping to help, but late. Drop down pass Mitchell. Layup good. Nicely done on the half court. 
Stephen Mitchell has eight, and Missouri State leads by one, 34, 35, 34. Franklin with it. Now it's Ruffin. Inside, Sally gets free. Layup is missed, but foul to go to the line for a pair. Foul is on Tyler Cheney, I believe. No, Drew Richards, his second. And the sixteen foul, so the Braves will be in a one and one from here on out. And Sally to the line for a pair. Dale Lambreth will come in. He needs to get both of these to get the Braves the lead back. And Sally has four. He is two of four from the line. Free throw is short. He shot all our free throws so far tonight, Dave. Two of five. That's the difference in the game right now. Bradley has two more field goals. They are threes. The Bears are nine of nine, and the Braves are two of five. So a chance to tie the game now, Sally. That's good. 35-35. He has five. And Spencer Laurie with it across the timeline. He's picked up by Ruffin. Haven't got a steal in a while. They're very good with the ball. With it is Mitchell. Look at a back cut by Ahern. Danny Adams goes to the floor, and Tyler Cheney tried to force a pass and turned it over. Eighth turnover the first half. Tyler Cheney, as uh, the Braves had D.A. go to the floor, and they tried to capitalize quickly and wound up too quick. So Bradley shoots for the lead here, 35-35, with it Ruffin. Now Adams, skip, pulled down by Franklin on a high pass. Ruff with it, bring it to the right against the 2-3 zone. They've been there most of the time now in this game. Three ball Franklin. That's good! He's got six. Braves fifth of the first half, 38-35, two minutes to go in the first half. With it is Laurie, almost threw it away. Tyler Cheney had to go get and does. Out near the timeline against Adams. Behind the back, he works. Now gives Ahern, look out, three, short, air ball, taken down off the floor by Danny Adams as it's rolled to him. To Ruffin, cross-court pass Franklin, three ball, be there, short. Rebound is tipped into the hands, Ahern to Tyler Cheney. A little short on the ball, going for the steal, and makes it off the leg of Cheney out of bounds by Will Franklin, the ninth turnover. Nice play by Will. Well, he missed the shot, Coach, and came right back and made a defensive play. Got the ball. 38-35, the Braves have their first half timeout left. Here's Danny Adams. How about another one? With it, Ruffin. Now it's Franklin against the 2-3 zone. Arching pass, cross-court right is Ruffin. Now Adams, high post Sally, rough, three ball, up, missed. Rebound is taken down in the hands of the Bears. And Kyle Rausch across the timeline, going for the steal was rough, and Spencer Laurie was tied up, and now it's Ahern. Between the rings, goes down the lane, all the way down, layup good. That's too easy. 38, 37 a minute to go, he's got six, and Jim Les wants time with 59 seconds to go. Boy, you can't let Ahern go top to bottom like that and get a layup. He must have rubbed off somebody, Dave. You're right, he can't. He, he, that should not happen. we got an ideal situation to go a two, two for, for one, one now with, with uh, just about a minute to go, Dave. Bradley uses their first half timeout. Bradley 38, Missouri State 37. 59 seconds to play in the first half. Bradley Braves basketball brought to you by the Inlet Companies. Take the hassle out of buying insurance with one call. They're in the white and yellow pages. The Unland Companies, where it's about you. Well, uh, Missouri State's been pretty effective in their 2-3 zone, Coach. They're going to give up some threes. Bradley has five in the first half. They average almost 11 a game. Well, we're shooting the ball pretty good. I'm, I think we're still close to 50% probably, Dave. Yeah, it's uh, 47. Only two turnovers, 9-2 and two for the Braves in the first half. 5-9 and nine for the Bears. And a lot of times, they've just made some careless passes along the baseline. Franklin Ruff and Adams, Warren and Zach Andrews. With it is Franklin. Danny Adams corner on the right. Back to Ruff. 27 of the shot clock. There's Will's three ball missed. Weak side rebound off a couple of hands and picked up by Rouse. So he did try to go two for one, but missed the first shot. Well, the idea was good. Spencer Laurie with it with a left and the right hand dribble. Takes the ball in the lane. Lean in shot. A drop down pass is flipped and Ahern goes and gets and backs up for three and Rimmett no good. Rebound taken down Franklin. Has the ball hop on it. Gives to Danny Adams. Across the timeline. And the Braves can go for a last shot. Ball is tipped. Ruffin has a layup. Flip it up and get it. He got away from his man and put it down. 40 to 37. Now one shot coming here for the Bears. Crowd up. 13-12, 13-12, Spencer Laurie with 10, out near the timeline with 9, against Ruffin with 8. 
Now seven. Don't foul. Look to the lead. Drop down pass. Go to the free throw line. Tough shot. Short. Rebound taken down by Spencer Laurie. Loose on the floor. It's a jump ball. It's halftime. No possession. The Braves will have it to start the second half. Leading 40 to 37 at the break. El Ruff was just given runway one, just like Ahern was earlier, coach, and took advantage of it. Took it right to the basket, and then we were able to defense the last shot pretty good. Bradley 40. The average 81. And they're right, right at that mark. Missouri State 37 at halftime. The numbers and more when we come back in a minute. You're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball, 1470 WMBD. And Laurie handles himself pretty well, Dave. Huh? Laurie handles himself yeah, pretty well. Yeah, he's, he's good. That's about what we expected. Balloon Man. That's what I feel like when I go to court. I'd rather, I'd rather watch the dogs in it. Yeah. Quick change, no change, or even the guy in the front, the guy in the box. I think we could with a little we practice, go, we could do that. Dave Snell, Joe Stoll, Jim Watson back at halftime. Bradley 40, Missouri State 37, about what you'd expect. Pretty well played game by the Braves and only turning it over uh, twice in the first half and had three blocks and four steals. That's not bad. That tells you how good Missouri State is, Coach. They shoot 13 of 29, 45%, but they're 9 of 9 from the line, and as a team on the year, they're 70%. Well, it's about the kind of game you'd expect, Dave. Uh, really, both teams are playing pretty well. We'll go with Bradley first. Uh, Matt Sally had a basket. Shot all six of Bradley's free throws the first half. He's three out of six, five points for Sally. Zach Ryan, who's had four baskets for eight. J.J. Twy with two fouls, the basket for two. Will Franklin with two threes for six. Daniel Ruffin with four baskets, one of three for nine. Andrew Warren gave us the left off the bench with three baskets, one of those a three for seven. And Danny Evans with uh, one basket for three. As I mentioned, Bradley, one of six, excuse me, three of six from the free throw line in the first half. Boy, Ruffin continues to play so very well. Uh, well, at both ends, Dave. Yeah. You, you, you know, you, you, he can run the point. He can make, he can penetrate and make the pass. He can shoot the three. And he can just flat out guard you, too. So it's uh, he's just the kind of guy you like to have at that point guard. Missouri State's a veteran team coach, and they're very good. And Really, uh, Ahern can take over a game. He's thrown a couple of air balls up in the first half, but that doesn't mean he's going to stop shooting him. But no, he had no threes in the first half. No threes, but Dave, here again, we're crowding him. We haven't. Even, he'll take the three. He hadn't had a chance uh, thus far. He had a couple couple drives. Uh, fourth at Missouri State, Tyler Cheney had four out of four from the free throw line. Drew Richards, who was 16 out of 48 from the line coming in, made his only three tonight to go with three three baskets. He has a total of nine. Spencer Laurie is a, a, a good-looking player from Missouri State. Had three baskets. One of those is three for seven. Blake Mayern, as we mentioned, had three baskets for six. All of them in twos. Lamberth had a basket with three-point range for three. And Devin Mitchell is a solid player off the bench. 
He's uh, three baskets, two out of two from the line for eight. Uh, they have made all of their nine, for eight free throws here in the first half. Rebounds uh, all Bears, 23 to 11. Now that's, oh, that's, that's significant. Th- that's significant. But here again, the, the turnovers, you know, which, which we have forced, uh, kind of counterbalances that. It's just going to be, I think, Dave, uh, it's be hard to pull away from this team. But uh, I think it's a good, tough, competitive game all the way. Points in the paint, even at 18. Off turnovers, 11 to 3. Second chance points, 6 to 1. Fast break points, there haven't been any. And those teams, both teams get back and play pretty good half court defense. Bradley 40, Missouri State 37. You're listening to Bradley Basketball on WMBD Peoria, Illinois. We'll take our halftime break. And be back. The Braves will have possession to open the second half with a three-point lead. You're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball at 1470 WMBD. I, I told you we could do that. They got the Shirley to do it. Yeah. I'll have you checked in tomorrow, Coach. Pardon? I'll have you checked in tomorrow. You'll have me checked in? Oh, you're going with me. That's right. I was Watts. I, <laughs> I was going to say, I'll be fine, but I wasn't no sure I was going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Got to have a stress test next Curly's, Tuesday. Curly's going to be uh, going to the team, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. I got a stress test next Tuesday. Huh? I have a stress test next Tuesday. A stress test. Oh, for God's sakes. Why, well, have you had uh, little... Having some problems. Well, that's the thing to do. We don't want to be a hero and not, not do it, Dave. Nathan Ballou didn't score. Didn't play that much, did he? No. Good player, though. Did we ever get the halftime stats? They had a one-point lead twice. (laughs) 
We led by eight, ten to two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Franklin, four steals, rough and nine and three, assist to turnover. No, 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 three to one. 18 it. threes, that can't be. I guess it can. Back at halftime, Bradley 30, uh, Missouri State 27, or 30, 40 to 37. It's a three-point Bradley lead. The Braves have led almost the entire way. They trailed a couple of times the last time with 2.52 to play in the half at 35-34, uh, but then outscored the Bears the rest of the way, 5-3. Uh, and the biggest lead was 8-2 to two early, Coach, at 16-44. But uh, I agree with you. It's going to be difficult for either team to pull away. I think, I think so, Dave. They're both a uh, very good team. They play hard defense, and uh, uh, hopefully we can do it the second half. But it, I think it's, it's going to be just a tough game. I'm sure you want to join me, Dave, in wishing uh, condolences to the family of uh, Buzz Ott. Buzz, as you know, played here in the 50s, played very well was a better person and he was a player and he's a very good player for us and we certainly see uh, hate to see the passing of buzz and incidentally dave i believe uh, gene elchori's wife who's from pekin i think she had a stroke yesterday and uh, is in the hospital oh that's, I hope, that's, hope that's uh, too bad hopefully she's, she's a lovely better. lady yes she was she is, certainly is braves coming back on the floor bradley's assisted turnover nine two three and one for rough and up and down had four steals all four of them from will franklin Three blocks, one for Warren, one for Twy, one for Zach Andrews. J.J. was one of two from the field, three rebounds, an assist and a block. That's the kind of stuff he does when he's in the game. They had, they had seven offensive rebounds, Dave. There are two. You mentioned, uh, you know, we got beat badly on the boards, and we did, 23 to 11. Seven offensive rebounds, the two is uh, pretty bad. And, you know, it's noticed when we make the three, but we, we haven't made as many as usual. I, five out of 18, I didn't realize we'd taken that many shots from three-point in the first half. Got a pretty good start early from uh, Zach Andrews and a couple of those high-low looks from Matt Sally, who uh, got two assists in the first half, both. Uh, from up top to down below, it was a nice look. And, and four, we have four steals, all from Will Franklin in the first half, Dave. Here come the Bears. Bradley will have possession to open the second half as we call the action. They'll move from right to left, left to right, if you're watching on BUBraves.com. And if you're listening on the Internet tonight, we welcome you to Bradley Basketball Outing 1 of the year 2007. We're at uh, Coke Arena, sold-out Coke Arena, on Thursday night and then head to the Knapp Center against Drake. Two-game road trip before coming back and playing those defensive dogs from Southern Illinois. I bet Mike Reese is listening tonight. He was on TV a lot last night. I always keep track of, uh, of Mike on the tube over there and over by the uh, huddle with Chris Lowry. He just says, guard him some more, guard him some more. Well, they seem to do it, Dave. They've, uh, they have a very good defensive team. It's a good team, period. But uh, so do we, Dave. We play defense well. We're, we're a very good three-point shooting team. And we can get a little more help now uh, with uh, Zach and uh, Sally underneath by uh, just helping us finish things off a little better. Back with the second half when we come back. Bradley 40, Missouri State 37. You're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball, 1470 WMBD. No free throws for Ahern. You keep him off the free throw line. That's they're nine of nine, and he hasn't shot one. And that's seven. And the guy that is one out of three makes three out of three. He's one of those when he hits the rim, it's a it's an event. Yeah, it really is. Richard's got five rebounds and played 12 minutes. 
that Richards is really effective against us. Yeah, this, this other guy, uh, not very good. The guy takes his place. He doesn't set good screens. He's a... Uh, Richard stays pretty much around the basket, except when he goes out high to screen and rolls down. Devin Mitchell don't start, but he's generally as oh, good or better good than some of the starters. Yeah, so I missed player. him last year. He had a knee injury, remember? Huh? He was out last year with a knee injury. Yeah. Ready to go for the second half. Twy Franklin, Ruffin, Adams, and Andrews. And let's see if Nathan Blue starts the second half for the Bears of Missouri State, 10 and 3. They've already beaten Wisconsin. They lost to Arkansas in overtime, lost to St. Louis in a controversial uh, tip in. Blue is starting the second half with Ahern. Spencer Laurie, who's a good player, played at Mizzou and transferred back home. Rough with the inbounds pass. And Drew Richards and Tyler Cheney starts the second half for the Bears. Rubbing with it across the timeline. Looks for Franklin, gives it to him. It's the first possession of the second half. Ruffin with it on high left, fakes the pass. Let's see what Jim drew out of the huddle here. Twyke gets it between the rings from Adams, sets a down screen, opposite the ball in the motion offense. Ruffin, ooh, made a bad pass. Third, only the third turnover as Nathan Ballou took it away. That was going to be a back cut for a goal. With it to Spencer Laurie. Now pass to Ahern. Nice oh, drop down pass to Richards job by State for the score. Time. 11 for Drew Richards, and they ran that one well. 40 to 39, so the Braves turn it over. And good half-court passing. Got a slam dunk from Drew Richards. Here is Franklin. Gives to Adams. Three ball corner left. Misses. Weak side board is taken down by Ahern. Across the timeline with a left hand dribble. He comes free throw line extended. Him. Bears shoot for the lead here a minute into the second half. Lob inside is Ballou. Going to back in. Now kick it back out. Ahern three ball left is good. And Missouri State. He has nine, has a two-point lead, their biggest of the game, a minute, ten seconds into the second half. The Braves have a miss. Inside out, ball tipped by Cheney, and a turnover here, and Missouri State has scored on a dunk and a three. And inbound time, Danny Adams, baseline left, Missouri State's biggest lead of the game, two, as they've rolled five to begin the second half. It's a two-three zone, zone for the Braves the to work box. against. Twy, Zach Andrews going to hook it up, short, no rebound. Rebound taken down Ballou, and the Bears are on a roll. Here's a shot crotched. Rebound is tipped back out. Cheney, now Laurie, give to Ahern. Free throw line, get a man in the air. Flipped it up and got it in. Uh, he he tried probably to, was fouled tried, on the play. Tried to draw the foul, Dave, and still Jim got Les the ball Less time, 44-40. A seven-point run to start the second half by the Bears. As the Braves have uh, missed a, a hook shot in the lane, a turnover, and a miss three. And uh, Ahern was probably fouled on that uh, well, play in one Dave, ball. He just shot the ball, almost threw it, uh, trying to draw the foul. And you're right, he may have been fouled, but he's, it was straight, and he banked, ended up banking it in. You don't want to get behind this team too, too much. They are very, very good. Bradley, Braves basketball brought to you by Avanti's. If you have a son or daughter between 8 and 12, Register them to be an honorary ball boy or ball girl at any of the three Avani's locations. Winners will be notified and announced prior to each home game. And ball boy souvenir shirts are provided by Pyramid Printing, specializing in embroidery and screen printing for business apparel. Call Pyramid Printing at 387-2777 for a free catalog or visit them at www.pyramidprinting.com. And the Braves are brought to you by Oberlander Electric, where satisfaction is a result of experience, and experience is the basis of their business. Has been since 1940. Bradley, 16 of 36, 44%. The Bears are up to 49 at 16 of 33, and perfect in this half. And Aher now in uh, double figures with 11, and Richards has 11 points. And uh, Jim wanted to run that play out of the first half, and then Ruff turned it over, and then the dominoes have started to fall since. Well, Missouri State's has handled the ball very well here in the second half, Dave. Their pass has been very crisp, and uh, resulted in a couple of ebbs. Ballou, Richards, Ahern, good timeout by Jim Les, by the way. 7 nothing run to start the second half. Spencer Lowry and uh, Drew Richards 
J.J. Twy will inbound. As Zach Andrews there. Uh, oh, they're showing man to man. We'll see if they fall into his own after the inbounds. So the Braves have a four-point deficit here at 7 nothing Bears to begin the second half. So the Braves are stuck on their first half number here. Here's Ruffin with the inbounds pass against a man, yeah, Spencer a man. Lowry. Takes it to the left. Will Franklin gets a scoop, comes down the lane. Looks, pulls up jumper from 10. Bounce away, no good. Rebound is fought for and taken by Danny Adams, who kept the ball alive. Franklin, Ruffin, back to Franklin. Ball fake, penetrate, bumped, fouled. Reload the shot clock two minutes in. Will didn't have a whole lot of place to go there. Second foul on Spencer Laurie. His brother's going to come in for him. Shane, 6'2 sophomore from Springfield Moe. 2-3 zone. Ruffin inbounds baseline left. Danny Ruffin made a, or uh, Danny Adams made a good play to keep that last one alive. High post pass inside out. Adams three ball up and good. Oh boy, Daniel. He's got Danny's six. Second three for Danny. 44-43. As the Braves get within one, Nate Ballou takes it down to the lane, and he's held by Ruffin. On the floor, second foul on Ruff. Team foul number one on the Braves, one for each team now. So that's a way to get uh, within one, 44-43. Bradley down one, inbound baseline right, Tyler Cheney. For the Bears, maroon and white. Watch the screens for Ayern, certainly. Ballou takes it on the baseline, backs in against J.J. Twy, good help. As the ball is partially blocked, Tyler Cheney puts it up and missed. But foul on Danny Adams, I think, on the rebound. You're right. Unfortunately, uh, the rebound came to Missouri State, and he put it right back up. First foul on D.A., second team, but this is free throw time for Tyler Cheney, and they haven't missed yet. Nine of nine. The rebounds are 26 to 12, and there's another second chance there. Four points for Tyler Cheney. Makes them both. Bears will go up three. First one is up and down. He's 5 of 5, and they're 10 of 10. He's only 67 on the season, 67%. Day. The law average ought to catch up with him. As a team, the Bears are 70% coming in. 45-43, Bears by 2. 17-38, second one good. Nothing but the bottom. 11 of 11, 46-43. Will Franklin across the timeline against Ahern. Backs up, get a ball screen and a pick and roll. J.J. Twy going to take it to the lane, kick it out. Adams can't get the shot. He sets a ball screen for Ruffin. Ruff with it, free throw line extended on the right. Adams now Twy. Look for a back cut. There is Franklin. Inside is Zach Andrews. Don't walk. Flip it up and get it. Nice, nice reverse layup. Nice patience that time with Bradley. Ten points, double figures. Here's a ball taken away by Ruffin. Braves down a point, 46-45, and they get a steal. They get a three. Franklin, good! Set up another defensive play by Daniel. 48-46, the Braves are on a run now. Have a two-point lead. With 16.50 to play. The steal, Ruffin, and Franklin, the three ball. Crowd in it. Shane Laurie lobbed to the goal against Nathan Ballou. Shot is missed, but fouled on the play. I think it's Franklin. Nope. I thought it was J.J. J.J. Twy. His third. He posted J.J. up that time, then shot it right back into him. Third on Twy. Team foul three. Free throw time for Nathan Ballou. He hasn't scored tonight. He's 83%. So you wouldn't expect him to miss. Spencer Laurie, Devin Mitchell, and Dale Lamberth will come in for the Bears after the first free throw, which is too hard. Somebody say, hallelujah, the, the 33 percenter makes three in a row, and then you get an 87 percenter, David, puts it on the crotch. Who can figure this game, Coach? Twy out with the three fouls, and Matt Sally is in. Ten points for Andrews, nine points for Franklin after the three make. The Braves are now seven of 21 from three. Free throw two is good. 48-47, the Bradley lead is one. Trailed by four. Then took a two-point lead with six in a row. Ball screen for Ruffin from Sally. Ruff takes it to the right wing. Look at a post pass. It's kicked by Devin Mitchell. The front row, and it's uh, 25 in the shot clock. Inbound baseline right on the S on Braves. It'll be Ruffin to inbound. Who's going to load up a three now? Everybody's got the three ready. It's Ruffin on the inbounds pass. Has it wing on the right. Danny Adams. Goes to the right wing. Bounce pass is Franklin. 
Skip passes Ruffin between the rings. Give it to Franklin, drives baseline. Penetrate and kick. There's D.A., there's three. Bounce it away, no good. Rebound follows his shot. Loose off the floor and off of Adams out of bounds. Looked good in the corner, Dave, from here, didn't it? Sure did. Andrew Warren going to come in. 48-47, Bears with the ball and the Braves with the lead. Adams comes out. He hit a three ball in this run. Braves show pressure in the backcourt. Warren had seven points in the first half. He and D.A. have picked up nicely the slack from Jeremy Crouch. In the backcourt, Ruffin works against Spencer Lowry, who comes down. Off-balance shot is short. Rebound comes long. Will Franklin running three on three. Will gives to Zach Andrews. Lay it up. Good! Nice from pass. Franklin. Nice pass. Good He's finish got a by dozen. Zach. 50-47. The other end, Spencer Lowry looks down the gut, gives Nathan Ballou. He stopped and fouled. Jerry Pollard with this call. Rough in the foul, his third, 15-52. Braves starting to get in foul trouble here as it's whistle while you work at Carver Arena. Three on Twy, three on Ruffin, and free throw time for the Bears when we come back in a minute. You're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball, 1470 WMBD. Dave Snell, Joe Stoll, and Jim Watson back at Carver Arena. Bradley's lead is 50-47, to 47, but two free throws in the hop coming up for Missouri State. Bradley based, uh, Braves basketball brought to you by the Candy Kitchen at Creamery on Court Street in Pekin. For birthdays, anniversaries, or your upcoming Valentine's Day gift, put your favorite picture in chocolate. The perfect novelty gift to show your loved one how much you care. Valentine's Day is around the corner. Be unique. Stop by the Candy Kitchen at Creamery on Court Street across from Mineral Springs Park in Pekin. Deliveries available and look for their display at the wedding showcase this weekend at the Civic Center. Those chocolate ones, three ball ones you brought up here, Dave, are pretty good. Pretty good. And the Braves are brought to you by Avanti's. If you have a son or daughter between 8 and 12, register them to be an honorary ball boy or ball girl at any of the three Avanti's locations. Winners will be notified and announced prior to each home game. Bradley and Wichita State from Coke Arena. On Thursday night, the Shockers have lost four in a row. After uh, winning nine straight. So it can happen, Coach. It, uh, this is a tough league. Well, you, on the you road, can, it's difficult to get anything. And Northern Iowa went in there and won the other day and just gutted it out. They lost four in a row, Dave, all of them between three and five points. So they are tough at home. We're going to have to be right up on top of things, just like we're going to finish this ball game out. Right now, Dave, they've got Cheney and Richards and uh, Blake Ahern all on the bench. Free throw Nathan Ballou is good. He's got uh, two of three now from the line. And that is uh, 13 of 14 for the yeah, Bears. He's, he's missed their only free throw. Free throw two is good. It's a one-point game at 50 to 49. Bradley's lead with 15.50 to play. Ruffin with it across the timeline. Two pretty evenly matched teams with it. Sally, look for the drop-down pass, threw it away, tried to hit Franklin. They've doubled some rebounds, Dave, now 27 to 13. Got Fourth Bradley game. turnover as Sally tried to hit uh, Franklin going back door and uh, wasn't close. So the Braves turn it over, and the Bears shoot for the lead here. They got Drew Richards back in the game. Richards, Stephen Mitchell, both Lorries, and uh, Lambreth, I believe, number two, and he's got it on the right wing, and Andrew Warren's on him. They look up top, Stephen Mitchell. Ball's almost knocked away by Ruffin, who's playing with three fouls. Spencer Laurie, outside pass is Lambert. Jab step, no shot. Good Bradley defense here. Ten on the shot clock. 
Gives Spencer Laurie with nine. Between the rings with eight. Going to get a ball screen with six. Now with five. Good help by uh, Andrews. Three ball is fired up and missed. Rebound is tipped into the hands of the Braves. And Sally gives to Franklin. Stutter step dribble. Inside out. Ruffin makes a great save to Sally as he climbed the ladder and saved it. Now drop down pass to Sally. Flip it up and get it. Uh, Off balance. He caught it and shot it. Put it in. He's got seven. Good Lead play by Ruffin and a really a fine catch is shot by Sally. 52-49. How did he catch the ball? With it is uh, Shane Laurie. Into Drew Richards. Better get help against uh, Zach Andrews. Layup. Good foul. Yeah, yeah, you just can't get him in there one-on-one. He has a situation. He had no help that time and just got behind him. J.J. Twy will come in, second foul on Zach Andrews, and you can see that one coming. And here's a chance to tie the game is Drew Richards, who is, we hate to beat this to death, but he was 16 of 48, and he's 3 of 3 tonight, tries to tie the game at 52. Missed it, banked, banked it in. Banked it in. Bank is open. Team fouls five on Bradley, only one on Missouri State thus far. 52-52, ball screen, Sally for Franklin. J.J. Twy in the game, drop down pass, threw it away. As he tried to hit uh, Zach Andrews, fifth Bradley turnover, and here comes Spencer Lowry, lobbed to the goal, up, down, layup, good. Nice pass. Over the top, Demon Mitchell scores. And now the Bears are on a roll, 54-52, as they take a two-point lead. Franklin gives to Andrews. Sally looks and gives to J.J. Twy. Now to Franklin. Backs up right. J.J. Three ball for the lead. Bounce it away. No good. Sally tips it in. Nice tip by Sally. And we're tied at 54. He has nine. Sally really picking it up here on the offense. Here's a lot pass. Knocked away by Andrew Warren. Picked up by Warren. Three on one break. Bounce pass is lost and fouled. And I hope Will's okay. He was going up for a shot. Was it on the floor? Yep. Two fine plays in a row by Sally, Dave. As he made a uh, defensive play and then uh, made the pass to Franklin on the right. Nathan Ballou will come back. 13-46 for the game, tied at 54. And caught that tough pass from uh, Daniel Ruffin after Daniel made a good save on the sidelines. Even Mitchell comes out. Boy, he's a good player. Yes, he is. Warren with it on the right wing. Give it to Franklin, now Sally. Look at the high post, skip passes to Will Franklin. Baseline 10-footer is missed. Badly. Rebound taken down by Lambreth. Gives to Spencer Laurie. Tied at 54. Better stop him. him. He fires a three. Good. Nobody got out to him. And Spencer Laurie gives uh, Missouri State a three point lead. Nobody picked him up, but he Must fired have lost a three. The down. There, Dave. He was open. Franklin gives to Sally. Hand off to Warren on the right wing. Missouri State up three. Zach Andrews walk. Wasn't called. Turn around hooker. Bounce it. No good. And a rebound taken down by Nathan Ballou. Three-point lead in the ball. Ruffin will come in, and a carry is going to be called. There's a break. The Spencer Laurie turns it over, palmed it. Cheney in, Ruffin in at 13.07. Turnover number 12 for the Bears. Will Franklin comes out. And Ruffin gets the inbounds pass. 13.05, and the clock rolls as Ruff crosses the timeline. So Ruffin and Twy both playing with three. Ball screen uh, coming from Andrew or for uh, Warren to Ruffin, who makes a bad pass inside. Tried to scoop it to Andrews. Six Bradley turnovers, and here comes Ahern at the other end to Nathan Ballou. Shot is blocked and a foul on Sally. And Missouri State back to the line. Second foul on Sally at 12:46. Sixteen foul for the Braves. And the Bears are going to be shooting a boatload of free throws here tonight. The free throws are uh, 15 of 16 and 3 of 6. And Ballou has a chance to make it a five-point lead, and he makes the first. Sally still shot all our free throws, Dave. He's 3 for 6. Only one to go at the line tonight for Bradley. Could be the biggest lead for the Bears coming up here. It's 4. Could be 5 as Ballou's second free throw is good. Adams and Franklin will come in in the next dead ball. The Braves trail 59-54. With uh, 12.40 to play, Ruffin, Sally, gives to Warren. And a switch, Ballou picks him up. Now it's J.J. Twy. Takes the ball all the way down, gives it to Andrews. Takes it in the lane. Look out with it as he had a high dribble. Is Warren, pull up 10-footer, bounce it no good. And the rebound is all Missouri State. So they're on a roll here. Bounce pass, Abern, drives to the baseline, gets bumped. 
inside out. Lambris three, looks, bounces off no good. Rebound taken down is Andrews. Kick it out to Ruffin. Across the timeline he comes. Takes it into the lane. 13 footer is rimming no good. Braves can't hit a shot now. We'll have an official time in the next dead ball. 59-54 again. Pass at the high post is Drew Richards. Looks and kicks it out to Ahern. He gets a ball screen. Got a man in the air and fires an off-balance drop-down pass. It was partially blocked, and another foul on the Braves. When we come back in a minute, they could be seven down. 59-54. The Bears just keep on coming. They shoot that ball right at you. They get it in close. They, they, they make you follow them. And the Braves haven't been able to get a shot to go down here. 11.46 to play. Missouri State with two free throws coming up. Leading 59-54, you're listening to Bradley Breeze Basketball on WMBD, Peoria, Illinois. Aaron's made a couple of good passes too, Dave. He's not really, not really a salvage player. Well, we're going to be down seven here now, most likely. They're, they're a strong team. Face now, Joe Stoll and Jim Watson. Bradley Brace basketball brought to you by Bradfield's Computer Supply, the largest downstate Lexmark dealer. Plus, Bradfield's has a special storage division to protect all of your valuable records, either by computer files or paper. Bradfield's Computer Supply. And the Brace brought to you by Methodist Medical Center, one of America's top 100 cardiovascular hospitals, where they're centered on you and a proud sponsor of the Braves. Bradley, 49 attempts, 22 makes, 45%. The Bears are 19 of 40, 48%. Bradley, 7 of 23 from 3, but 17 of 18 for the Bears at the line, and they're going there for two more now. So they're doing everything they have to, Coach. The rebounds are doubled, 32 to 16, and they're making their free throws, even though they've turned it over quite a bit. Well, you go 17 out 18 from the line, Dave, uh, you know, for the few turnovers. We have turned them over. Unfortunately, we haven't taken advantage of it all the time with their shots. Lamberth at the line. He is 11 of 16 on the season. 69%. First one arches up and in and out. Spencer Laurie will come back. So he tries to give uh, the Bears a six-point lead here. Remember, they missed all those free throws the other day. It cost them the game in Omaha. That's good. Free throw two is good. 60-54. Lowry in and uh, Lamberth is out. So the Bears have a six-point lead. And we haven't shot a free throw here in the second half again. And here's Ruffin. Well, you know those six-point leads can go down in a hurry with this team. Here's Ruffin almost losing as he is guarded by Lowry, who is a very good player. With it, Sally. Now Ruffin. Will Franklin get a ball screen from Sally and steps up to cut it in half. Missed it. Badly rebound, Twy layup miss. Sally up and in. So the Bear give up the offensive board. Thank Seven offensive or 11 Sally. points for Sally. Inside dump is Devin Mitchell. His short shot dribbles no good. Rebound Nathan Ballou to Ahern for three. That's good. They kicked it out right front of the basket. Seven point lead, 63-56. Another rebound and another try, and Ahern made him pay. Here's Will Franklin. Give it to Danny Adams. Look inside in the wing on the right. Now it's Twy, inside is Sally, and a foul on the pass. That's too bad, he made, made the basket. Spencer Laurie has fouled, number three. Three team fouls for the Bears. Braves need to score here. 10.55 to play, 2-3 zone. Danny Adams with it, gives to Ruffin. Now it's D.A., 4-3, short. Got it again. Oh, it looked like it was going to be short. He put it down. That's his third three, Dave. 
And it's 63 to 59. Nine for Adams. That's it to four. Nathan Ballou hands off to Laurie. Thought it was going to be short, and it went down. With it, a bad pass. Diving for the ball is D.A. It's loose. It's picked up by Franklin, who's got a layup, but instead Sally loses it. What a play by Adams, eh? What a play by Adams. He could have had a layup. And at the other end, Spencer Laurie had a break and couldn't convert. And now Nathan Ballou's jumper at the other end That's is good. Shame. That was a killer. Had a two-on-one break and couldn't convert. Here's Franklin at the other end, spins in the lane, drops it down, threw it away, tried to hit Twy, 10.05 to play, eight turnover for the Braves, Laurie Ahern, now Devin Mitchell, he walked. Here's a break. Shane Laurie and Lambreth in, 10.01 to play for the ball game, 65 to 59. Zach Andrews will come in, and he will replace Sally. Plenty of time. We just got. Oh, DA made some play. Boy, just crawled after it, kept it alive, and then unfortunately we couldn't finish. Franklin uh, got it and was running two on one and couldn't convert. Here's DA for three. Is up and good. He's got three this half. Four for the game. He's got 12. 65-62. Braves within three. Here's Shane Laurie. Dropped down pass taken away by Twy. Loose in the floor. Diving for it. And a held ball. No, it's still loose. Now it's held. It'll be a held ball. It'll go to Missouri State, but turn it for the Braves the next time. The shot clock reloaded at 9.32. Another good play by Danny Adams, Dave. Crowd not happy. But the Braves are down three as D.A. has come in. He's got 12. We've got 19 uh, from uh, Andrew and Adams now, Dave. Richards in, Ballou out. Braves need a stop. Quite a defensive play there by J.J. Twy. 8.29, 28, the clock rolls. With it is Laurie, gives to Ahern a ball screen. Look out, he's wide open, drop down pass, drop outside pass to Spencer Laurie. His jumper is good for three. Shane Laurie. So at 68-62, he gets his first three. Ball screen is roughing. Takes it to the right. Braves down six again. Offensive foul called on Zach Andrews. Zach trying to post up and clear out and, and did get the call. His four, Sally in for him. Tyler Cheney in for the Bears. 9.08 to go. Bradley's ninth turnover. Didn't get a shot. They on that, when uh, Zach comes out to help out, you know, he helps out on the guard coming off the screen and then drops back. And, and sometimes he drops back so quick they still get the shot off over there. Watch that on the film. Boy, the fans are really down on that official over there, and he's talking back to him, which he should never do. He should just work the game. And Jim Bain is here. Tyler Cheney looks at the inbounds pass. The count is two. The count is three. Devin Mitchell has it now. 9.05 to play. Missouri State with a six-point lead in the ball. This would be their biggest lead. So this is a pretty big stop for the Braves if they can get it. Mitchell with it. Hand off to Cheney on the right wing. Drives inside, jump stop looks, gives to Drew Richards. Now take it to the right is Shane Laurie. Inside shot is partially blocked into the hands of Sally. Kick it out, Franklin. Braves run three on three. Will Franklin's three is good! Oh boy, Will. He's not afraid to take it, Dave. That's his fourth three as well. And it's 68 65. As the Braves have cut it to three, offensive foul at the other end is called. Push off on Devin Mitchell with 8.33 to play. So there's a turnover. His second foul. Fourth team foul for the Bears. And the 15th turnover. And the Braves down three. They could have been down eight. Uh, we got the winner now, Dave. We've got to take advantage of it. 8.28 to, to play. Turnover. Ruffin brings the ball to the ring in the white. White. Will Franklin to tie it? Bounce it, no good. And the rebound taken down, Devin Mitchell. Nate Ballou will come back. Next dead ball, Lowry with it. Almost has it knocked away. Loose on the floor, picks it up, arches it in. The baseline on the right, he's a good player. 70 yes, to 65, is. roughing at the other end. Gives it to Franklin. Now to DA, his three is up and good! 15 on threes for Danny, five. 70, 68, it's a two-point game. With it is... Richards 
Lowry on the left wing. Stops. Almost like walks. It. I think he did walk. to Devin Mitchell. He's got it up high left. We'll have an official time and an next dead ball. Braves down a deuce. 70 to 68. Here is Cheney. A hold going to be called on Will Franklin. And we'll have an official time. Two free throws. Or 19 foul. One in bonus coming for the Bears. When we come back in a minute. Missouri State 70, Bradley 68. Back in a minute, you're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball, 1470 WMBD. A lot of points. Danny, he's got five three. Boy, he's gave him some life, I'll tell you. And that play, that defensive play oh, was incredible. Yeah. Well, Warren's played pretty good too, Dave. Look out. Dave Snell, Joe Stone, Jim Watson, Bradley Braves basketball. Brought to you by the Candy Kitchen at Creamery on Court Street in Pekin. Birthdays, anniversaries, or Valentine's Day coming up. Put your favorite picture in chocolate. The perfect novelty gift to show your loved one just how much you care. Valentine's Day around the corner, so be unique. Stop by the Candy Kitchen at Creamery on Court Street across from Mineral Springs Park in Pekin. Delivery is available. And look for their wedding showcase show here at the Civic Center on Sunday. And the Braves brought to you by Peoria Siding and Window. Celebrating over 30 years of serving Central Illinois with quality and experience in the home improvement business. And proud sponsor of the Braves. Coach? Dave, uh, Sally still shot all of our free throws. He's 3 for 6 the first half. We've got to shoot one in the second half. They're 18 out of 20 from the free throw line. and going to be up there two more times right now. Also, Bradley with nine team fouls. Only four on Missouri State. So that has been a big factor. But boy... The shooting of Danny Adams in the second half was four threes. Every one of them really, when we needed it, were just needed a comeback. He has 15. He's 5 of 10 from the field, all threes. Tyler Cheney to the free throw line. He will have one in bonus. He's 67 on the season. He's made six out of six here tonight. So one and one. Crowd waves the dots. Still quite a few students here, even though on a break. Free throw is up and in and out and in. 71-68, Missouri State leads by three. One more for number three, Tyler Cheney. He's got seven points off the line. Second free throw is good. So it's a four-point lead for the Bears, and they show pressure, so Sally inbounds to J.J. Twy. They're going to uh, look like a half-court trap here, Coach. Yes, it is. Andrew Warren is in the game. Give to Ruffin. And Braves. they're falling back to a 1-2-2 two, two or 2-3 two, zone if they flatten out. Two, three, nine, Danny eight, Adams let's... takes a couple of dribbles. High post passes to Sally. Kick it back out. Ruffin fake the pass. Penetrate. Give to Warren. Take it between the rings. Now it's Adams. Shot clock reads 12. Now 11. Ruffin with nine. Now with eight. Now with seven. Warren with six. Now with five. Ruff with four. Sally's 10-footer is partially blocked. And taken down by Nate Ballou. Seven minutes to go. Franklin will come in on the next dead ball. High-low lob is Richards. Layup good. Braves have no size in the game and couldn't combat that. Six-point lead again, 74-68. And with it is Ruffin. Pulls up the dribble, gives to Adams. Now to Ruff. This has been about the point where the Braves have hit a three. They're back man-to-man. -man, just one sequence in the zone. Give it to J.J. Twy. Missed Warren. Andrews. Lopes in the lane. Here's a D.A. three. That misses short. And the rebound taken down by Richards. Could be an eight-point lead. Tyler Cheney with it on the right. Two steps and a skip pass Richards. Now Ahern. Looks to get a ball screen all the way down. Loops in the lane. Lean-in shot is blocked. Out of bounds with 20 on the shot clock. That'll get Franklin in. 
Comes in for Warren with 6.15 to play, and Zach Andrews will come in for Bradley. Well, the Braves really need to get a stop here. Comes in for Sally. Our magic number was 75, Coach. Going to need some stops, or the uh, Bears are going to get there. There's a steal by Zach Andrews on the drive, on the move. Lay it up, kaboom, and fouled on the play. Just into the ball game, Dave. And it's 74-70, and a chance for a trifecta the hard way. And finally, somebody besides, he made the steal, and made the score, somebody Steel besides made the, made Sally will go to the line. Took them out of the chance to get them two or threes. That could be a five-point play. And here's Zach to the line to try to make it a three-point game. Free throws up and down. He's got five. Got 15, 15. 15, I'm sorry. Sure to be a couple, Dave. We need all of them we can get. 74-71. Let's get another stop. Bears lead with six minutes to play. Tyler Cheney with it straight away. Looks right, looks left. Passing lanes are cut down. Ball's loose. Taken away by Franklin. Give to Twy. J.J.'s layup is flipped up and missed. And a rebound foul on Franklin. That's too bad. That's a shame. J.J. Uh, got a little bit too deep. That would have cut it to one. And two free throws coming up here for the Bears, who are just making 11 at the line. They are 20 of 22 from the free throw line. Cheney's 8 to 8. And here's Cheney again. Steven Mitchell will come in after the first free throw. is up and missed. Well, maybe that's the start. 74-71. Bears lead by three. 5.47 to play. Everybody, half the crowd's on their feet. Why not? Second free throw trying to get to the magic number. Short. Rebound taken by Zach Andrews. Now to Franklin. Three ball ties the game. Will with it on the right. Beats his man all the way down. Flipped up the layup. Missed it. Got under two yeah, deep. Right. And missed the layup. Here comes Spencer Laurie at the other end. His layup is good. Boy, that's a four-point turnaround there. Sure was. And Laurie is Missouri tough, State Dave. calls time, 76-71. So it's the Bears that get to Four point the magic number. Right there. A missed layup, and then at the other end, they score. And uh, Missouri State, I believe, called this timeout. They have three left. Bradley has three left, and I think this is a one-minute timeout because it's the first called time. Nope, it's the second one. That's right. So that was a big turnaround. The Braves have missed a couple of layups here. J.J. missed one, and Franklin missed one. Zach Andrews playing the four foul. It made it as soon as he got in the ball game, Dave. Just a one-on-one situation out near, fairly near midcourt. Made the made the block of the pass and took it down and and uh, took advantage. Made the made the uh, three-point play layup in the back in the free throw. Our only free throw of the second half is today. Credit Laurie the other end, Coach. He is, he is tough, tough, tough. Yeah, he's tough with the ball and he's very That's capable 14. scorer. Twy Andrews, Ruffin, Adams. Bradley down five, 5.28 to play. Here's Ruffin. Plenty of time. Across the timeline, gives it pressure to... and falling back, I think, in the 2-3 zone. Yep. Twy and now Ruffin. It's his dribble, picks up his dribble. Ball fake twice. Now hands off to Adams as the Braves kind of run a weave, and now they don't return it. Ball screen, Ruffin, straight away. Drop down passes, J.J. Twy, penetrate and kick for a three-ball D.A. Corner right, good! That's six of them for Danny. He's got 18. Braves down two, 76-74. Offensive foul, Dave. Offensive Go. foul away from the ball Go. on Go. Devin Mitchell. And he's getting close to getting a tee. And that puts us to bonus now. That's 16 fouls as well. So Mitchell picks it up, his third offensive foul. Braves down two. They go goes from five to two. 18th turnover for the Bears. They lead by two. Will Franklin beats his man a half a step, and he's held going in and a chance to tie the game. 
with a one and bonus. That's why that other foul down there, Dave, that offensive foul is key because otherwise we wouldn't be shooting this down. Will to the line, he's got a dozen points. All on threes. The first guard to shoot a free throw tonight. 76-74, Missouri State. To the line with a one and bonus is Will Franklin. He is 76%, 25 of 33. Needs the first to get the second. There's one. 76-75, it was 75-71. So the Braves are about to roll five in a row here. 18 turnovers for the Bears. Second free throw ties it. 76-76. Here comes the crowd. Can the Braves get another stop with 440 to play? Even at 76. Cheney, Ahern. Nice to get that lead before that next time out, Dave. Out near the timeline against Will Franklin. Now Tyler Cheney looking at a post pass. That's fronted by Andrews. Cheney with it. Looks at Laurie, give to Ahern. Shot clock reads 14, now 13. Ahern with 12. Get a ball screen with 11. Between two and a reach going to be called on Danny Adams. And that'll send Ahern to the line. Boy, we had a lot of fouls called tonight, that's for sure. And if there's one guy you don't want to foul, it's this guy. First time he's been there, Dave, and you're right. He's, he's generally automatic. 42 of 46. Trying to give Missouri State the lead. First of two. One good. That's the one weapon they have that they did not use the other day against Creighton. 77-70. 6, 78, 76 as he makes them both and touch nothing but the bottom. That's okay. Just take the lead. Got 12 threes on the night. With it is Ruffin. Ball screen. They look and Ruff brings it to the wing on the left and double dribbled. Will stopped. Andrews stopped. 408 to play. 10th Bradley turnover and Ruffin was uh, hung up. Andrews and Franklin both stopped their move, and Ruff had to pick up his dribble and got called for the double dribble. So here's Ahern, 4.05 to play. We'll have an official time in the next dead ball. Ahern has it on the left. See if we can get a steal here. Bounce pass is Cheney. Free throw line extended on the left. Danny Adams on him. Zach's got to be careful you don't Takes pick up the shift. A couple of dribbles. Give it to Spencer Laurie and Ruffins on him. 15 on the shot clock. Beats him all the way to the baseline. Block to block, and then a three by Cheney. Corner right is in and out. Rebound taken down Ruffin. He explodes across the timeline. Takes a look at his options. Drop down pass in and oh. out of the hands of Andrews. That's a shame. He had Zach Hale right on that low block. That's and so bad. Missouri State on the Bradley 11th turnover. Will have possession. Drop down pass, and Zach couldn't handle it. Too hot to handle. They have 3.36 to play, and here's your official time. Missouri State with the ball and a 78-76 lead. You're listening to Bradley Braves Basketball, 1470 WMBD. Great game. Seven and one, seven and three for a two yards assist turnover. I told you I thought this was going to go overtime before the game night started. Nothing's changed my mind. Well, I'd settle for overtime now. Hell, we're in the, we're in a bonus. And we're at home. I want to see Zach fall out. Bradley Braves basketball brought to you by Kelleher's Irish Pub and Eatery. When you enter your Irish on State and Water on Peoria's Riverfront, there's plenty of free parking at Kelleher's Irish Pub and Eatery. And the Braves brought to you by the Candy Kitchen and Creamery on Court Street in Pekin. Birthdays, anniversaries, or upcoming Valentine's Day. We're in Evansville that day, Coach. 
at night. Put your favorite picture in chocolate. The perfect novelty gift to show your loved one how much you care. Valentine's Day around the corner, so be unique. Stop by the Candy Kitchen at Creamery on Court Street across from Mineral Springs Park in Pekin. Delivery spree. And look for their display at the wedding showcase this Sunday at Peoria Civic Center. Well, Dave, we got Cheney to miss two free throws finally. and missed two in a row, then unfortunately he couldn't take advantage of it. Braves are just six of nine from the free throw line. Assist to turnover Bradley, 19 and 11. 11 and 18 for the Bears. The rebound's 39 to 21. But the Braves are 12 of 31 from three. And Cheney to inbound. The count is two, the count is three. Give it to Laurie in the backcourt. Spencer Laurie against Will Franklin. Braves down two. And give it to the right as Ahern. Stopped, has it knocked away by Ruffin. With 3.24 to play, 24 on the shot clock. It'll be inbounded right in front of the Bears bench. Braves need a stop here. Nathan Ballou is back in. Gives it to Spencer Laurie. 3.20 to play. Looks at Ahern on the right wing. Will Franklin was late to get to him and now does. Ballou loops to the goal, covered up by Twy. The jump switch, there goes Ahern. Bounce pass down to Richards. Layup is missed. Rebound off a couple of hands. Picked up by Ballou on offensive rebound. Now it's... Ahern and Laurie, they'll run the offense again with three minutes to play. Ruffin's on him. The count is three, and now gives it to Tyler Cheney. Another chance on an offensive rebound. Ballou against Twy in the lane. Jump hook is good. 80 to 76. Four point lead. And the boards are playing a big part of this game when you get second shots. Here's a screen. JJ Twy for Ruffin. Inside out, knocked away by Cheney. 3.25 to play. Braves down four. Plenty with 23 on the shot make, clock. Got to get a stop. We need here. to start here. And Adams with it. Free throw line extended to the right. Brings it between the rings and hands off to Ruffin. 19 on the shot clock. Devin Mitchell come in on the next dead ball. Franklin with it. Looks at DA loop in the lane. Gives to Ruffin. Ball screen on a pick and roll. Ruff stops, 9-8 on the shot clock, handoff from Zach Andrews, Ruffin, Will Franklin with four, now three, drives with two, flip it up with one, goes in! Heck of a drive, it was all he had, Dave, and he took it right to the basket. 80-78 with, with 2.05 to play, now the Braves got to get a stop, 80-78, two-point lead timeout, called by Barry Henson, gets Stephen Mitchell in the game, with 2.01 to play. Bradley has attempted 31 threes. The Bradley record is 33 attempts. We need to need a make, Dave. That's what we need. That was a heck of a drive by Frank. With time running out, Dave, the top of the circle is the 4-3, and he just took it right to the basket about a bit with about a second to go. Trying to keep the home winning streak alive. Another one of these close games for Missouri State, just like the other day. They've lost a couple of these, one at St. Louis and the other day, uh, just a heartbreaking loss to Creighton. They're trying to get one on the road here. 80 to 78. They have the ball sideline left with Tyler Cheney, Devin Mitchell, Spencer Laurie, Ahern, who's a weapon here, and Nate Ballou. They put in a little better ball handling team, and then when he, they went and put in uh, Devin Mitchell, Mitchell. Mitchell again, Dave, for their big center. 29 on the shot clock, 201 to play. The possession arrow belongs to the Braves, by the way. Two minutes to play in the game. With it is Laurie across the timeline. A minute 55 to play, 23 on the shot clock. Ahern with it. Pass to Nate Ballou. He's going to post up J.J. Twy. Backs in, skip passes Laurie. Takes it to the right wing. Look at an entry pass again. Nate Ballou with it. Inside passes Stephen Mitchell. Layup is flipped up and missed. Rebound is off a leg out of bounds. Last touch by the Braves. Called by Jerry Pollard. And a new shot clock, unfortunately. Just can't get a rebound. Minute 38 to play, a new shot clock for the Bears. See what the Braves' defense is here. Now is when we need that big stop. Cheney looks, the count is two, the count is three. And a lob pass is thrown to Devin Mitchell. And Zach Andrews is on him. Lowry, Mitchell. Free throw line extended on the right. Passing lanes are overplayed, the count is on. 
Give it to Laurie with 24 seconds on the shot clock. A minute 24 to play. Here's Laurie. Beats a half a step all the way down. Off balance. A jump ball. The possession arrow goes to the Braves. Now we got to take advantage of it, Dave. Big, big stop. Now we got to take advantage of it. 120 to play. And a chance to tie or get the lead on a three ball. 118, 117, Missouri State 80, Bradley 78. With it is Ruffin. Look to get a ball screen from Zach Andrews. Ruff take the ball to the right. Will Franklin for the lead. Rim it, no good. Oh, uh, halfway down. With a minute five to go, need another stop. Went down, spun out, one minute to play. 28, 27 on the shot clock. Need a steal or a stop. No, silly, no silly fouls because they're in a double bonus. Keep it away from Ahern. With it, the count is on. Lowry bounce pass on a give and go. Rebound, or almost a walk. Give it to Ahern, 12 on the shot clock. Timeout taken by Barry Henson. Very close to a walk. With 42.8 to play, 12 seconds on the clock. Yeah, don't bail him out with a foul now, Dave. They'll shoot two free throws. Well, you know that Ahern's going to get it somehow, some way. Well, they may not be able to get it to Ahern. You just got to play good, solid defense. You want to stop Ahern, but uh, they got other guys to score, too. And anybody that gets to the line is going to shoot, too. What a great look Will had, Coach, and just couldn't get yeah, it down. Well, he's made, he's made, I think, four here in the second half. You just suspect it. One full left for Barry Henson. Bradley has three timeouts left, but with 12 on the shot clock, well, sideline left, the Braves need a stop here and a score. Good defense now, good defense. I thought all along this game's going to go to overtime. It might as well. Well, you've said that, and I hope you're right. Actually, I hope I'm wrong on the other side, but... Uh, well, well, you're two down with, with the 42 three seconds shot, to go. Coach, it's always a weapon. Well, yeah, now we need to stop first. If we don't get the stop here... The three won't catch him. The arrow, by the way, point, points back to the Bears. The count is one. The count is two. And give it to Nate Ballou with 11 on the shot clock. Give it to Spencer Laurie with eight. Now with seven. Now with six. Now with five. Give Ballou with three. Long range three is up. Bounce no good. Rebound Ballou. And a whistle and a push going to be called on J.J. Twy. Oh, with 30 seconds to go sends Ballou to the line. He's 83 on the line, Dave. He's uh, made his last six. He's six out of seven tonight. Fourth on J.J. Just can't get a rebound. There, there was a long... You want uh, Baloo to shoot a three. They're not that big a team. They, they're a strong team. So Baloo, if he makes the first, will make it a three-point game, and he did. If he makes this, it'll be a two-possession game. The Braves have three timeouts left. Let's see if Jim uses one here. Got to get the rebound on a miss. Maybe they'll climb on somebody's back. Free throw is good. Take two scores now. 30 seconds to go. And Ruffin with it. He'll take time out across the timeline. With 27.6, the Braves are down by two possessions. We're only in the one-on-ones in the free throws, Dave. 17 fouls on Missouri State. Of course, they've been shooting uh, two for quite a while. But you don't need three here. No, what Jim's really going to do is try to enlong the game. You can drive that ball at the basket, Dave. Get a basket, and draw a foul, and make something happen with the stud clock. That's about as good as good as you can do right now. The rebounds are 43 to 21. And there's not that much size difference. There really, there's there's some size difference. They're, they're a strong physical team. They play. You know, they don't they don't play the defense like uh, Southern Illinois, but they they're strong. They're strong with the ball like Southern. But we we know. We played well ourselves tonight, Dave. Guys, we shot the threes, but the offensive rebounds has has been probably the biggest factor of that, and the fact they haven't missed hardly any free throws in the entire game, and we haven't shot it. We've shot three in the second half. We made all of them. We were three out of three in the second half, but uh, six out of nine for the game. Braves will inbound, sideline left with 27.6. They have to score on this possession. And Adams will inbound. Let's see what Jim drew up. They work on this all the time at the end of practices, situations. Will Franklin runs off a screen, gives to Danny Adams. His three ball is up, missed it. Rebound long, taken down by Taney at the other end. Nate Ballou has a breakaway layup and dunked it, and the Braves are likely in big trouble here. Need a couple of threes in a hurry. 17-16, rough and a long-range three is up and short. The rebound taken down Laurie and a foul on Andrews, and he fouls out of the game, and it looks like the Bears are going to end the Bradley winning streak here at Carver Arena.
Well, they played very well, Dave. We haven't played that poorly, but uh, just been a little short on, the, short on the boards and got ourselves in foul trouble early. Andrews fouls out of the game. D.A. got a look. By the way, that's 34. That's the most attempted three-point shots in Bradley history. And just couldn't get one down when they needed to. And give credit to the Bears, Coach. They just not would not wilt. No, they've, they've, they've played hard the entire game. It's been a good ball game, Dave. A couple of missed layups. Uh, oh, one in particular is a four-point play. Free throw is good by Lowry. And it's 85-78. to 78. So the Braves are going to drop to 10-5 and five and 1-2 and two in the league and lose a home game. And you know how difficult that is. A big win for the Bears. Free throws up and good. And Ruffin to inbound to Sally. 40, uh, 86 to 78. Ruffin's got a give to Adams. A ball fake and a three is arched up and air ball taken down by Ahern. And the Bears have come into Carver Arena to win. 86, 78. And uh, well, this is this is tough. Not Dave. often you come in and on the road, coach, and shoot 30 free throws, but that they did. That they did, and and, and they played hard, Dave. They they took the ball and sh- shot the ball right in their face. Sometimes they played a real good game. Uh, but 46 to play. 21 on the boards is uh, yeah, that's, is sizable. That's, that's that really is. Especially they're not a real big team. They're they're a very aggressive, very hard team. And coach, they'd be. Uh, They'd be four. They'd be three and zero oh if they hadn't dropped that game the other day. You yeah, just got to keep going forward with, with a couple wins on the road. So they get a split between uh, Creighton and Bradley, and the Braves now have to go to Wichita State and Drake after dropping this game here tonight. That'll do it. The Jim Last Better Banks post game show is coming up. It's the Bears, 86, Bradley, 78. You're listening to Bradley Breeze Basketball, 1470 WMBD. Well, Danny Adams couldn't have done much more, really. No. But we still miss Crouch. You know, you, you just he, he'll be in there for somebody else. It might be Sally. It just gives you another another weapon, another guy who can play defense. You know, yeah, I think he might have made a difference. Can't use an excuse. But uh, we, we sure as hell missed him. Daniel didn't score a second half, Dave. No. Nor did, nor did uh, Warren. Now we're looking at Wichita... Drake on the road and Southern at home. Yeah, that's, that's no picnic. It's, well, unfortunately, they deserved to win tonight. They, they they played real well. We didn't play that bad. They're a good team, Dave. Boy, I miss those two layups. Oh, shoot. 